Hey, and namaste. I'm Zay with Exude Yoga, an affirming space for you to heal out loud. Today, we are doing a flow to release anxiety and fear. If you're here showing up right now, I'm proud of you because there's a lot of chaos going on in this world. And I know it may be affecting you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. So just by you showing up, the work is already being done. So thank you. We are going to do a very gentle flow that incorporates some twists, some body extensions, and we're also going to be introducing, so excited for this, ah, the Earth Koshi Chime, also known as the Terra Koshi Chime. We're gonna ground ourselves so gently, grounding your roots into your mat, extending the crown upward, Closing the eyes, placing the hands wherever you feel comfortable. Finding ease in the breath. Slowing down your breath, slowing down each moment. If you have alternative breathing techniques, you can do that now. When you're ready, slowly opening the eyes and let's get into our movements. So let's start by rotating the neck, rotating in either direction. With each rotation, allowing yourself to feel the release of the fears of the anxieties that you're holding on to. Taking your time, being very gentle with yourself. When you're ready, rotating in the other direction. Rolling back into a neutral spine. You're gonna pull on the knees, sending the chest forward and the crown back. Exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, curling the spine. Doing this a couple times on your own, at your own pace.
rolling the body back up in the neutral spine we're going to rotate the shoulders backwards feeling the stretch in the heart space and the shoulder blades creating quality breaths lowering the quantity Keeping the hips as still as possible. Rotating in the other direction, moving the shoulders forward one by one. Back into a neutral spine, we're going to roll both shoulders back simultaneously. Then rotating both shoulders, <laughs> then rotating both shoulders forward. Allowing the breath to bring ease into the body. Coming back into a neutral spine, maybe moving the shoulders from left to right. <laughs> Opening up the side body. From here, we're going to take our palms and bring them over the shoulders, feeling the energy in between the hands. Lowering the shoulders, tucking the hips forward. Maybe taking a slight bend in the elbows. <sighs> Breathing through the solar space. <sighs> We're gonna interlace the fingers. And from here, beginning to make circles with the fingers, circles with the body, feeling the stretch throughout the spine from the base all the way up into the neck and shoulders. Letting go of everything in the body that no longer belongs to you, that no longer deserves to be in the body. And rotating in the other direction. From here, bringing the hands back down to the knees, coming into a fold over the knees. You can sway from left to right. Move the shoulders, move the spine in a serpent-like way. Envision the release of any anxiety and fears that you're holding on to. Tucking the chin into the chest, rolling the body back up, me coming into another slight back bend.
Exhale, coming back into a neutral spine. And we're here, maybe rotating the wrists. Stretching out the fingers. on some folds working on our root space so we're going to come into a seat bringing the legs out as far as they can go bringing them to the corners of the mat flexing the toes now if you have any pains in the knees or in the tendons in the back of the knees you can take a bend just keeping the toes flexed if you want to work on flexibility and mobility you can place the backs of the legs on the mat. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the right arm above the right shoulder. The left hand comes to the outside of the left foot. As you begin to draw the right hand towards the left foot, opening up the right side of the body. Even lower the shoulder if you need to. Taking a few moments here. Breathing through the root space from the bottoms of the feet all the way up into the hips. Next, exhale, lowering the right shoulder. Continuing to hinge forward at the hips. For a few more breaths, you got this. Walking, both hands forward out in front of you. Tucking the chin into the chest, keeping the toes flexed and folding. Slowly beginning to roll the body back up. Maybe readjusting, moving the shoulders, moving the neck. This time, taking the right hand, bringing it to the outside of the right foot. Left arm comes above the left shoulder as you begin to fold towards the right toes. Feeling the stretch to the left side of the body. Keeping the toes flexed and activated. Maybe opening the left shoulder a bit. Exhale, lowering the left shoulder, folding over the right knee. Drawing the toes back, extending the crown towards the toes, and hinging forward at the hips. Remaining here for a few more breaths. If you need to take a bend in the knees, make sure you do so. Walking both hands out in front of you, coming into a fold. Instead of curling the spine, we're going to extend the spine forward. Grab onto the outsides of the feet. If you can't reach, you can just continue to place the hands out in front of you or you can place the forearms on the mat.
Inhale slowly, coming back up into a neutral spine, bringing the feet together. Oh, that's one show wiper the knees. <laughs> And we are going to get into a butterfly, one of my favorite asanas. Bringing the feet together. We're gonna interlace the fingers, placing them on the bottoms of the feet, and then interlacing the thumbs at the top of the big toes. <laughs> Bringing the heels in towards the hips as far as you can. Extending the crown upward, creating a flat spine. Shoulders draw back and down. Let's take a few breaths here. Exhale, begin to fold, creating a C with the spine by tucking the chin into the chest. The hips begin to curl forward, pulling on the bottoms of the feet, allowing yourself to feel the stretch from the base of the spine all the way towards the neck. Remaining here for a few more breaths, allowing each breath to cleanse the fears, the doubts, the chatter that is within the body. On your next inhale, slowly rolling the body back up, being gentle with yourself. Maybe coming into a slight back bend, sending the chest forward and the crown back. Or you can rotate out the neck, moving however feels good to you in this moment. rotating in the other direction. Extending the legs out in front of you and show wiping the knees, allowing the circulation to flow through the legs. And we're gonna get into our last asana, which is the child's pose. And we're actually going to end the flow in this pose. So you can remain here for as long as you need to. Otherwise you can click on a video I'm gonna recommend up here to continue flowing. I'm going to introduce the bolster in this flow, my baby. So excited to be using this. We're gonna make sure that the knees are on the edges of the mat. If you have a bolster, here we go. <laughs> you can slide the bolster in between the legs. If you don't have a bolster at the moment, you can just get into a child's pose. Hinging forward, you're going to bring the chest towards the center of the bolster and then lie either ear on the mat or on the bolster. Taking some time to rest. Taking time to refresh.
continuing to breathe deep in and out of the nose. Allowing the body to relax. Allowing the mind and the spirit to relax. Just being in the moment with your breath. Thank you for showing up for this practice to heal, to recover, to release, and to rest. Thank you for allowing me to shine my light. And until next time, namaste.